Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride and today we're here in Victoria at the Classic Car Show and uh, we are here with Matt and Matt has a 19, well I'm gonna let him tell you what year it is, I think it's an early 1955. It is, it's an early 1955 Dodge pickup. Dodge pickup, one of rarities, it's very unusual to see a Dodge uh, pickup here and Matt's got a wonderful story. So Matt, tell us, uh, this truck is, has been in your family for uh, a while. This yeah. isn't something you just picked up off the street. So tell us a little bit about how you first met this truck. So I bought this truck when I was 14 years old. I was riding my uh, my bicycle around the neighborhood and uh, I saw it sticking out of a bush out of a farmer's yard and uh, it, I saw a for sale sign in it and I walked up, knocked on the guy's door and he said it was for sale for 2000 bucks. So I uh, worked my tail off for three months of the summer, came back with $2,000 and uh, I bought it then and it ran. And it, it ran? Drove. Yep, it ran and it drove. It didn't look like this, but uh, it did run and it did drive. And it was the originally the, the what do you call it, a farm green? Yep, it was the like the OD green. Okay. Yep. And then, okay, so then you got it and you drove, you worked all summer, saved up that $2,000. Yep. So you're 14 years old, you must have done something to the truck. Yep. As soon as you could afford it. So then I, my brother, uh, Joe, who's a couple years older than me, we rented an industrial sized sandblaster and sandblasted the truck right in the driveway. Um, and we knocked out my neighbor's pool <laughs> with, the silica, with the silica sand that got in the air. Oh no. That's, uh, that's a whole different story. So anyways, we sandblasted it, put a cheap Mako paint job on it, and then I drove it as my daily driver in high school. Wow. You must have been one of the few uh, kids with a, a classic pickup in high school. I was. I was pretty much, the, I, there was a lot of guys with, with trucks, but there was nobody that had one at all. Okay, so you finished high school, and and what happened to the truck? So then after, you know, it wasn't uh, wasn't in the greatest condition. Um, it didn't have power steering, didn't have power brakes, um, and then I, I went and parked it in a farm field, uh, and that's where it sat for about 15 years. I just let it kind of rot away. Um, with no protection in the middle, literally in the middle of a farm field. In oh man! And yet, this is the same truck. That is the same truck. All right. So let's fast forward 15 years. Okay. And how does this get resurrected? Because obviously you never forgot about it. That's true. So then uh, my wife came downstairs while I was, uh, I was in the living room with a pee stick. She told me that she was pregnant. <laughs> and she said, uh, she asked me if there was anything I wanted to do before this kid came into her life. And I told her, I was like, yeah, I have a pickup actually in the middle of Wisconsin. I'd like to start that project before he comes. So uh, I towed it home and I told her it'd probably be like a thousand bucks <laughs> to get the whole project done. And uh, that's where it started. That's where it started. That's where it started. So in nine months, you got this thing completely refurbished. No, it took it took me about almost three full years. Okay. It took me three full years. Three so. four years. Yeah. Now tell tell us, uh, you know, you have done uh, almost a hundred percent of the work yourself. Yep. There's a few things you've gone out, but. The motor is original. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what size and, and uh, if you know the horsepower. Yep. So it's the original 241 Poly uh, whoa, whoa, V8 whoa. engine. And it has the four on the floor transmission. That is the original motor and transmission. Um, it has, I believe, out of the factory about 89 horsepower. So even <laughs> if you were in wet grass, it's probably not going to spin the tires. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, it's not made for speed, but it, yep. it is Dodge's uh, first attempt at the V8. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this was the kind of like the prototype to the Hemi that then came the year after. So in the early 55, they came out with the Poly. And then they came out with the hem hemispheric engine. Okay, so so if you were to order parts for this, you'd actually have to order for a 54. That's correct. Yep. Uh, so it's a rarity in itself in that particular motor. Yep. Now, there's something else we had talked about earlier, and that was the windows. The fact that this is a five window yep. cap. We don't count the windshield, apparently. That's correct. Uh, so uh, that was also unusual. Uh, in 54 and a half, they went to uh, what's called the five window, and they did that for about five and a half months where they kept the three windows in the back the way that you see it with the curved yep. glass um, and then they went to a larger window like chevy had okay. um, for the rest of 55. 
Um, and when you have the larger window, you'll also have the bigger engine, the 318. Okay. And uh, when you uh, when you redid the back, you had you couldn't you, there was no kit for a Dodge. That's correct. So how did you make the back? So the floor. The, the wood is just from Home Depot. It's uh, a bed. <laughs> How did you make the bed in the back? The bed I just, figured beds are going for going to sleep the in. That's just made from oak wood. Or, uh, yeah, it's out of oak and then it's American. Uh, the stain is American hickory, I believe. Okay. With a clear color. And then uh, you couldn't find the chrome strips. Right, so then I just drilled the holes from a Chevy kit. Okay. And put those and put in. Those in. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, when you uh, design the interior, sort of the colors and everything that you pick. Now, this is actually a 2016 F-150. Yep, this is what uh, you see every day on the highway. This is F-150 blue. I think it looks better here. I think it does, too. I think it does, too. This Some, is, somewhere yeah. the Dodge brothers are rolling over in their grave. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, blue I, know, on a Dodge. I know. They probably weren't too happy. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, it's Blue Jean Blue is the, the name of it. Oh. And it, they put that on f 150s Okay, and then on the interior, Interior, um, which we'll have a shot of to overlay here, but um, you obviously picked out all the colors and the fabrics and everything to go on the inside. I didn't pick them out, my wife did. So one thing that I learned <laughs> as a young married man was to get your wife to buy into the project in which you're doing because she'll support it. So my wife picked this color out, she picked the paint, she picked the interior color, and then she also picked the uh, walnut wood um, stick, uh, stick the stick the, shift uh, shift handle. Yep, the handle itself, and then she had it engraved off of Etsy, the 1955. Okay, so. and you actually uh, were telling me you have pictures of your son from a baby yep. up through the next three years in this pickup as it was being restored. That's right. Oh, uh, so what what a neat story! And then eventually he'll be old enough to drive this. This will be his truck when I'm gone. Yep. Oh man, that's correct. You notice he said when he's gone, not when he turns in. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. That's not, no. Sorry, a while son. If you're or if you're watching this video at 55, you got a lot, of, yeah. a lot more years to wait. Well, I man, it. I tell you what. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Appreciate your time. What a wonderful story and a beautiful vehicle. Thank you. Appreciate it.